In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure Spectrum Access System Registration, or SAS registration, on the Ruckus LTE AP Management Portal. SAS is a three-tiered Spectrum authorization framework to accommodate a variety of commercial uses on a shared basis with incumbent federal and non-federal users of the CBRS band. Before adding your first AP, you should configure your SAS registration parameters. So from the dashboard to configure my SAS parameters, I would go to my administration tab and I would click on the SAS account. As you can see, I don't have any SAS account information here, so I would click on add SAS account. And my first option is my SAS operator or provider. And I have some choices of Comscope, Federated, Google, and Custom. If you're using the Ruckus Network Services, we can choose Comscope, Federated, or Google, or you could do a custom SAS account. So for example, if I select Google, then the service provider for the SAS account will be Google. The URL is the URL to access the service provider's service. And then we have a version number. And then we have the CBSD user ID. This is the user ID for a tenant account with the SAS provider, and it is unique per SAS customer or tenant account. Ruckus has its own unique CBSD with Google, Comscope, or Federated, and is provided by the SAS vendor. And if you're using the Ruckus Network Services, this user ID is provided to you in the Private Network and SAS Configuration Guide. So this is a private LTE network and SAS configuration guide. Here you can see, for example, the SAS information for Federated. It shows the provider, URL, the version, and then the CBSD user ID. And because this is a proprietary user ID, I have masked that on this presentation. For Google, I'm going to put in the CBSD user ID. So you enter in the CBSD user ID. Next is a box that has a check mark next to it called STA Available. STA stands for Special Transmission Authority. The STA flag is for customers who have applied for a Special Transmission Authority and would like to use that temporary license to transmit. If the box is enabled, then CPI certification is not required and the AP to SAS communication is not bound by the WinForm requirements. And if you roll over the question mark here, it just gives you some information on that as well. If the box is not checked, then it brings up the registration mode. And you would need to arrange for a certified professional installer or CPI to use your session to invite via the local admin or a third-party admin to CP certify your APs. So for registration mode, currently we have single step, but as if I roll over the help menu, you'll see that there's single step registration and multi-step registration. And multi-step registration will be something that we add in the future. So once I've set my SAS account parameters, then I would click on save. And that'll create the SAS account. And if for some reason I wanted to edit that, maybe in the future if I wanted to change my operator from like say Google to a federated, I could do that. But as you can see here, it says saving changes will revoke the CPI certification from all certified APs and require recertification. So we're going to cancel on that. So once your SAS is configured, you can now start to add your LTE access points.